This panel plays with relativity in an effort to break the speed of light, but it doesn't work. To do that, we would need a spaceship capable of reaching 99.99 the speed of light, which is possible only in theory. The Andromeda galaxy is 2.5 million light years away from Earth, so at light speed, the trip would take 2.5 million years for someone watching from Earth, but this is without taking into account the effects of time dilation. Einstein's special relativity says that the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. Imagine twin siblings. One stays on Earth while the other blasts off in a near light speed ship to Andromeda. When the traveling twin returns, they have barely aged, while their earthbound sibling is long gone and civilization is dust. From the ship's perspective, perspective, time isn't slowing down. Instead, space itself contracts. Andromeda's 2.5 million light years shrink to just 18 million kilometers, a distance light crosses in 60 seconds. The traveler's clock ticks once, while Earth's takes 2.5 million years. But wait, since light takes 2.5 million years to reach Andromeda, and you could get there in 60 seconds, does this make you faster than light? Nope. But that's a very good question, because physics is built over one strong foundation, a principle that states the speed of light is the same for all observers. This law is very important to ensure nothing goes faster than light. If you run inside a moving plane, from the perspective of someone on the ground, your speed will be added to that of the plane. But if you, while on the plane, turn on a torch, the emitted light would have the same speed for you and every observer. Light takes 8 minutes to reach planet Earth from the sun, from the perspective of the the photons, space contracts, meaning that photons instantly reach us from their perspective, while we would have to wait 8 minutes and 20 seconds to receive the photons, and if you travel at the speed of light, the space-time deforms and becomes shorter, enabling you to reach Andromeda and come back in 2 minutes, while 5 million years would have passed on Earth. In a nutshell, it takes light 2.5 million years to get to the Andromeda galaxy. If you could travel at light speed, you would still get there in 2.5 million years years, to you that would feel like 60 seconds have passed, but for everyone else on earth it would feel like 2.5 million years.